Fortnite has just came out with its brand new update. It is the first one in 45 days. Here is everything that you need to know about this brand new update. Let's get started with the biggest part of the update. Balance changes. The biggest changes that were made were made to the Reaper Sniper Rifle. The Reaper Sniper now has, de has increased bullet drop off. So the bullet's going to fall faster after you shoot. And a decreased bullet speed. So basically, instead of just being able to shoot your gun at their head and them dying, you have to actually lead them now. So that's a very good change. I like that change a lot. And it just kind of, with FNTS coming up, it makes it so your whole tournament won't just go away in one shot. You know what I'm saying? Now, another one, which I am very happy for, was the Ballistic Shield. The Ballistic Shield recently just received a debuff. Basically, the more you shoot it, the easier it is to break. So it takes less bullets to break it now. Now, the biggest buff was the Enforcer AR. This was given a much needed buff because this AR was, let's be honest, it was pretty terrible. Probably one of the worst ARs we've had in a while. It felt like a really bad infantry rifle. The gun was given less recoil, less bloom, which I know bloom is a thing when you have a scope on it, but it's got a tighter spread now. And the headshot damage multiplier was increased, and the overall damage was increased of the gun. The other gun that was given a bus buff was the Hyper SMG. This SMG had just fallen behind because the burst SMG was just so good. Probably the best gun in the game other than, other than the two shotguns, the two magic shotguns. But this, this Hyper SMG buff may make it just as good. It's received a buff in Bloom and um, Bloom and Accuracy. So basically... If you shoot, it just feels better and smoother in every way. I think these are all pretty fair and reasonable changes to the meta. And they're not major changes before FNCS, which is probably a good thing. Uh, not probably, it is a good thing. And now that all of that is over, let's address the elephant in the room. If you haven't noticed yet, Fortnite has added an FOV slider to sprinting. At least I'm pretty sure. In case you don't know what an FOV slider is, it lets you see more of the game while you're playing. So basically, right now on the frame, you can see a decent amount. You can see about down to my feet, probably. And then, but after you get an FOV slider, you can see all around you. So you can get better angles on players. It is a little harder to shoot because you're so far away, but it's definitely worth it because of all of the... all You can see people without having to move your camera for like a weird peek. It's really, really good, and it's already in games like Minecraft and games like that. Not competitive games, but... Or it probably is in some competitive games, but mainly it's not in Fortnite, and it's it probably should be. If you wonder what it's similar to, it's very similar to Stretch Res that people used to use back in the day before it was banned. Now, let's get on to our last topic. Weapons and items that were unvaulted this update. These weapons and items include cardboard boxes, anvil launchers, and a variation of the invisibility cloak that really is not very invisible. I was trying this item out for the first time, and I got fried because of how bad it is in my opinion. It's just so easy to see, and when you get players that are looking for it, you're pretty much just dead because of the time it takes to cut it off and try and run. But I mean, all of these new items are fun. They're all going to be in pubs. None will be in competitive, which is good. Because the last thing we need is a variant of the RPG with the anvil launcher in a public, in a competitive Fortnite game. Because that would drive people insane. So, pretty much, no huge unvaults or new additions, competitive wise or pub wise. Just some standard, regular unvaulted, unvaults that were probably expected. This video may not have been as entertaining as you hoped because this is my first time doing this and I'm going to keep it up in the future. I just have to learn how to talk better to a camera because it's really, really weird talking like this. I'm not going to lie. But if you like this kind of content or find it entertaining or even helped you out in any way, please consider subscribing and liking the video and maybe even sharing it to a friend. Once I become fully monetized, I'll be getting a face cam so that y'all will be able to see these videos. Anyways, with that being said, I want to let you know that Jesus loves you and have a great day.
rest of your day or have a great night's sleep whatever time zone you're in right now i hope it's well <laughs>